Let me turn next to a major story this last week because it's important. It happened in Bangladesh, in a suburb of the capital there, Dhaka. A building collapsed, and at the latest count, according to the CNN, 142 garment workers were killed in the collapse of a building, and many hundreds more were injured, and many of them seriously. What's going on here? Well, let's begin with a few economic facts. Bangladesh depends on the garment industry. 80%, 80, 80 of the exports of that country are garment exports, mostly to the United States and Europe, mostly to the big discount clothing outlets in this country, and some not discount outlets, that are making a fortune by no longer producing garments here in the United States, but instead producing them in the much cheaper wage locations of Asia. And Bangladesh, like China and so on, is a major place. Here's how it works. It's driven by profits at every step. Step number one, a department store like Walmart, or a big box store like The Gap decide they can make money by moving into an area that is now served by a whole bunch of smaller clothing stores. To make money, they can offer clothing more cheaply, wipe out the competition of those stores, drive everyone from the downtown of the little village or town or city to go to the suburban mall where they locate their stores. So profit destroys the little businesses across the United States. But in order to do that, Walmart, Gap, and all the others have to offer clothing cheaply, more cheaply than they could get it made here in the United States where people get a decent wage. So they move to Bangladesh. But the pressure is on. We're going to buy clothes from you, but you've got to pay your workers very little. You've got to have very quick, simple you know, cheap places to build them, where we can throw the machines in quickly, where the rent isn't very high. So in order to get away with cheap clothing exports from Bangladesh, we have to pay the workers very little, and we have to have low rents for where the workers do the work, producing the gloves and the shoes and the handbags and the slips and the socks and all the rest. So the buildings get thrown up quickly, cheaply so that the building owners can make money even though they have to charge low rents so they cut corners on the building get the picture profit drives walmart profit drives the people who make the clothes in in bangladesh profit drives the people who make the building in which the people make the clothes who pay the low wages and then you, when you cut the corners on buildings, you have the disaster that we had this week. 142 dead people by a profit motive driven system of moving production out of the United States. And the money saved on our clothing, is it worth it for destroying cities and towns across America because the little stores that used to keep the downtown alive selling clothing are gone? Is it worth it for the cities and towns that can't collect taxes from the destroyed little businesses? Is it worth it for the lost jobs that people had here? Is it worth it for the dead people in Bangladesh, all sacrificed in this profit-driven system? It's an important question. And if we don't ask it, it still leaves blood on the clothes we wear.